Hi everyone, Al Julian here. Welcome to the Take the Road Christmas Special for 2017. Yay! Hard to believe it's nearly the end of the year. 2018 is just around the corner. And to cap off the end of the year, I've got a really exciting announcement. And that is I've bought myself a really cool and very rare classic car. And it's this. It's a 1982 Vauxhall Viceroy. Now, loads of you are going to be going, a uh, Vauxhall what? Yep, this is a Vauxhall Viceroy. It's basically a German-built Opel Commodore, which was used by Vauxhall to fill in between the Carlton and the Royale. So basically, it's a piece of British badge German engineering. Loads of you have probably haven't heard of this car before because it wasn't a very big seller back in the day. They only sold about 2,300 of them. And the reason I bought this car is because there's not many of them left. There's only about roughly 10, 12 maybe, left on the road. And of that number, only four of this car exist. So this is officially the rarest car to take to the road has ever, ever owned. And I can't believe this car is mine. And it's just so cool. How much did it cost me? £920. Which is fantastic when you see what 920 pounds got me it's a big massive luxury german british saloon car so i think i'm going to take this off because i'm starting to look a bit silly ah oh, that's better see i bought this car because i recognize how rare it was and i love rare cars i just find that they're more a bit more special the history is more interesting and you know, it, it, it's that opportunity to be able to, to, to be able to own something rare and unique. And, you know, right now, me driving around where I live, I'm guaranteed to be the only person driving a Viceroy. And since there's so few left in the country, if I turned up to any car show in this, I'd be guaranteed to be the only Viceroy there. And that's what really appealed to me. The other thing as well was the fact that this car was actually first owned by Vauxhall themselves. The first owner on the logbook is Vauxhall Luton. And so basically what happened was towards the end of the mid product refresh on the Viceroy, because the Viceroy was released in 1980 here in the UK and stayed in production till 82. And towards the end of 1981, they had a bit of a refresh of the product and they had apparently roughly 10 cars left at the end of that run and they couldn't sell them. Uh, so they registered them for themselves to use them as, as fleet cars. And then in 1984, it passed to its first private owner who kept this car for nearly 30 years, which is just fantastic. And the condition of this car today is a credit to its original owner. He absolutely loved this car and he didn't want to sell it. So he decided to sell it and now it's all mine, which is just fantastic. It's my early... Christmas present to myself. So what is this car like to drive? Well, there's only one way to find out. This car is fantastic. I absolutely love it. It's a big barge. It's so comfortable. You know, it reminds me of my XJ40 Jaguar. It has that kind of soft, floating, magic carpet feel to the ride. Because you have to remember, this car was built in Germany, so it was designed for the Autobahn. It wasn't really built for a and roads here in the UK. So the handling is a bit wallowy, you know, it's a bit of a tank. But you feel very special in this car. The ride is so sublime and has a certain grace and poise to it. You know, the seats are so comfortable. I, I just, I'm just looking at the interior itself. We've got ribbed velour trim which is just fantastic it's so retro so late 70s that was one of the other reasons why i bought this car because the interior is so original it hasn't been messed with hasn't been damaged ruined wrecked you know it's a very very honest car on the inside it's great the cruiser that's what it is and a two and a half liter straight six up front even though it had around 114 brake horsepower when it left the factory, which isn't a lot by today's standards. It actually pulls very well, and it's brilliantly smooth. Almost Jaguar straight six smooth. It's that good. And it just whirs along with a very nice, satisfying sound. And when you put your foot down, it picks up pretty well too, for a big old barge like this. It's great. The 
you have to remember, this was a luxury car back in the day. It, you know, it hails from an era when you showed your status by buying a big car. And the person that had this for 30 years, he traded in a little Vauxhall Viva for this. So that was a massive, massive jump up in terms of car size. And, you know, it had a pretty decent luxury package as well. You had centre locking, automatic gearbox, power steering. I mean, that was pretty much it. If you wanted, you could specify alloy wheels and sunroof and electric windows, but that was as far as the trim level upgrades went on the voice roll. The brakes do take a bit of a shove, but they work. And the steering is power assisted. It's not bad. I mean, as I said, the car does tend to wallow a bit. You know, if you've driven a, a big old Bentley Mulsanne, you, you, you'll kind of know what I'm on about. You feel like you're driving a canal boat. But, saying that, you take it handy, and this car is pretty good through the bends. You know, this car is no Opel Manta, and it's certainly not a Vauxhall Astra GTE. But that's not what this car is about. It's a cruiser. It's a big, big, comfortable cruiser. You just sit back, stick it in drive, and relax. And let that straight six do all the work. So what are my plans for this car? Well, it needs a good plane. It needs a lot of detailing. You know, as you can tell, the paint is just a little bit oxidized, but it should buff up pretty well. The previous owner had to go in a couple of places and the maroon paint has started to come back a bit, which is, which is good. You know, this whole car is very, very original and I want to keep it that way. You know, there's only so few voice choice left now. It's a car that shouldn't be messed with. It shouldn't be lowered, slammed, turned into a drifter, blah, 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 all of that rubbish. This is a very unique piece of British and German engineering. And it should be kept and it should be preserved. And that's why I bought this car. You know, I absolutely love rare cars. I love their story, I love the history, and I love their place in motoring history. You know, I've only had this Viceroy two weeks, but I love this car already. It's got such great character. It's so comfortable. And that straight six, it's a sweet as a nut. <laughs> yes. My Autobahn barge. So that's it for the Takes Your Old Christmas Special 2017. I hope you've enjoyed my fantastic new purchase, my Vauxhall Voice Roy. Ah, oh, this car is cool. It's so cool. And this is what classic cars are all about. You know, getting out there, finding them finding rare gems like this and buying them and ex getting getting to experience them. That, that for me is what classic cars are all about and yeah this is just a fantastic end to 2017 finishing the year on a high yeah good end to the year so I hope you all have a great Christmas and a fantastic new year and I'll see you in 2018 take care guys adios and don't forget just go drive Woo. <laughs>